All right, hey, welcome back to Walden's World. We're working on one of these Taylor Dunn utility carts. My buddy got this for free, and I did put the Dukes of Hazard number on there, but it fell off. Let's see if we got it on the other side. Anyway, we are going to, he's got these tires. Now, these are those nail-proof tires, and apparently they're solid and filled, but obviously that tire's coming apart. There's no tube in this stupid thing. It is literally filled with, like, I guess liquid rubber. Um, this tire, man, it's got to weigh 45 pounds. It's really heavy. The front's got air in them, so what I had to do is, uh, it's not coming apart easy. I took a Sawzall, and I had to cut it in half. And as you can see, it's solid. Where's that chunk? Here's literally what's inside. So, it's a steel belted tire, so I broke the steel belts here. And I've got it to where it's going to separate, but we're going to try and get that tire off and then we'll put tires and tubes on them. Um, just regular ones. The front actually has tires and tubes, but, uh, yeah, y'all, has anybody ever messed with one of these solid tires? I mean, I don't even know how, do they fill these? I guess they put the tire on and then fill it some, some way through the valve stem because the valve stem's actually gone too on this thing. So this is, a. Uh, it's not been a fun one, but we'll get it done. All right, so we got the rims off. They actually look pretty clean. We'll clean them up a little bit. And then we got these new tires right here to go on. And these should be fine on load capacity. Uh, maximum load is 910 pounds, which is actually higher rating than these. On this second one, I got a lot smarter. I just cut it off at an angle so I'd have more room to get uh, to the stuff there. I don't know what these were rated at. Max load is 715 on these. So these are actually rated to take a higher load. So that'll work out good. Problem is, is I got this on jack stands. I've only got two. So I'll have to see if I can jack this up and maybe put some uh, car tires or something underneath it. Otherwise I'm gonna have to do uh, one wheel at a time. But this thing's pretty sweet. It already got it running. I fixed the electronics on it. Um, He's planning on doing a whole bunch of stuff to it. Motor looks pretty clean. Uh, clutch needs to be used a little bit. It's rusted up there. Belt looks clean. It runs pretty decent though. And they had some weird toggle switch hooked up to it, which we hooked it back up right. Hooked the fuel pump up, external fuel pump. Got new fuel lines, uh, fuel filters on it and all that. I don't know if this piece will come up or not. These are heavy. This is one heavy rig too. So I put, I put new fuel line on it, uh, and then it's got new fuel filter on it. I cleaned all that, new fuel line all the way to the carburetor. So should run good. Anyway, uh, y'all like, subscribe, hit the notification button. I'll get some more video of this when we get it running. I think uh, Wes is going to try and make a, uh, a rumbler seat out of this back piece, which would be pretty sweet. Um, I told him, you know, it'd be really cool if you put it on a hydraulic where you had a button in the front. This this would pop up and you'd have a seat or something. Um, this would probably hold. You could run a deal probably inside here from here to hold it, uh, make a little rest. I think it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, we're out of here.